Hi everyone, Hawthorne Sagebrush here, and welcome back to my channel. Um, so, basically, uh, today is the 29th of October. It is my group's uh, Samhain ritual today, uh, but I thought I'd make a couple of videos before I get ready to leave. I'm already dressed, obviously. Um, but I thought I'd make a couple of videos. So, basically... Uh, this one I want to do week 21 and 22, I believe, of the YouTube Pagan Challenge. Week 21 and 22. So week 21, or question 21, is do you have a grimoire or book of shadows? So um, the answer is kind of yes and no on that. Um, I do have a book of shadows, but it's my, like, proper one. So I'm, like, it's one where I'm scrapbooking in it and things like that, but I only have a title page in it so far. Uh, so that's what I have here. This is the book it's in. It's just in a uh, rectangular scrapbook from Michaels. And that's the uh, cover page. Very exciting. Uh, but basically that's the cover page. And then I have this like art print that says home is where your cat is or where my cat is. Um, and I wanted to make a page about cats and magic. Uh, I like cats, but I haven't gotten to that point yet. But that's kind of my actual Book of Shadows. But I want to have something a little bit different as well. I, I want something a little more tangible, like permanent, kind of. Uh, then I have this book, which has a bunch of Mr. Kate stickers. She's a YouTuber, if you don't know. Um, but basically, this notebook I've used for a lot of things. And it's uh, basically like I write down tarot readings I have with my friends. Um, if there's anything I need to do, like forgiveness or things like that, I have that. Uh, when I was teaching a class on uh, elements of magic, like the V elements, I was teaching the section on correspondences and things like that. So I have correspondences written here, things like that. Um, like I have my, I have a witch crystals casting, um, casting stones so like for scrying by casting stones onto a board and I just have my like cheat sheets on there for like the different things because there's like different aspects of the board and things like that just notes that I need to go around the whole um the whole book for it um like little recipes like there's one here called fairy wine it's non-alcoholic um like it's a one and a half cups of milk, uh, whichever kind you prefer. I like almond for the fairies. Uh, one teaspoon of honey or maple syrup or agave or whatever. Um, I like maple myself, uh, just because I like the taste of maple better than honey. Uh, but and it's also um, this area that I'm in. I'm in Eastern Canada. Maple is kind of one of our things. So. A uh, quarter teaspoon of vanilla and some cinnamon, and then you just like warm the milk, don't boil it. Uh, and each glass or mug adds sweetener and vanilla, pour the warm milk in, sprinkle with cinnamon on top, that kind of thing. So don't forget to share with the fae, that kind of stuff. Um, more tarot readings, uh, when I did a crystal casting reading. Um, Oh, I took some notes when I was reading books, like I read The Beginner's Guide to Wicca by Kirsten Riddle, and I took some notes on that, because um, over here are my pagan books, well, pagan books, pagan books, um, uh, Krishna Consciousness and Hinduism, plus a couple of Methods books and our Religion and Sexuality on this third shelf here, and then the bottom shelf I have... Um, Oh my god. Sorry. One second. Penny, where have you been? I've seriously been looking for this tarot deck for months because I wanted to give Penny to my friend Josie. And that's insane. It was right there. Like, I've been looking for months. Sorry. She's been hiding. She's a bit of a sassy one. And I have like my religious studies textbooks. I have my uh, elements encyclopedia, 5,000 spells, that kind of stuff there. 
Um, so that's kind of what I have over here. Um, and I have a lot of beginner's books. And I like to read beginner's books to see what are the common elements, what are some that are unique to each book, what where are they coming from, because I get a lot of questions from beginners where I am in a community. Um, and I'm considered one of the, like, like core members. Like, I'm, I kind of do a lot of the organizing and things like that. So I'm, I get a lot of questions about books and what books are best. So I like to read different books to see what the, um, what what's kind of different, you know? So, that was Beginner's Guide to Wicca by Curse and Riddle. What one is that? Beginner's Guide to Wicca. I don't even think it's there anymore. Because I've got Wicca, Wicca for Beginners by Taya Sabin over there, but I might have lent the Beginner's Guide to Wicca to somebody. Hmm. Yeah, because I've got Crystal Bible, Wikipedia, How to Be a Witch, Wicca Craft for Families, uh, The Sabbath's Almanac for Two Different Years. Uh, Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs. Oh, there it is. Beginner's Guide to Wicca. Misplaced it. Uh, anyway, that has nothing to do with my book here. Um, I don't know what I would call this. It's kind of my working book of shadows. It's where I take notes. And uh, if I'm ever planning classes or things like that, like... Like when we were doing the Elements of Magic Earth, I took notes on what parts of the book I was teaching because we were teaching out of um, out of Twelve Wild Swan. Uh, just some interesting things. Um, an open letter for gratitude. Uh, just like a spread, like a gate, the gate to life spread. Just write reading different things, uh, class planning, uh, correspondences for spirit, uh, planning the dumb feast for 2015. I've been using this book for two years, I think. Uh, an everyday cleansing, planning Maybon, planning Samhain, planning Beltane, like there's all sorts of things in here. Document planning. Lunasa planning, uh, more planning. Uh, now here we are, Psalm 2016. So this is kind of like a book that I use for a catch-all, I suppose, for things. And then I have this book, which is my book for Obod. So all of my Obod notes go in here. So I've got like my little uh, letters here. Um, in here, I have a mind map on the element of Earth because I was doing that for Obod. So this is the like the Bardic grade. So this I write all my notes in here specifically about Obod. So those are the the books that I'm using right now, like Grimoires, Book of Shadows, things like that. Um, I do want to get into doing some more journaling and writing down what I've learned. Um, I used to have a different one, but it's missing, so I don't know where it's gone. But yeah, so that's what I have there. Um, and then the question number 22 is, do you create your own correspondences? Um, and that's a combination of yes and no. Um, I suppose I have my ideas of what goes with what, and then I have what I was taught of what goes with what. I have what I have read for what goes with what. But sometimes you just feel things, right? Sometimes you just feel something is right. Um, like, for example, um, most people would say that the color yellow is for the element of air. However, I also feel that light blue, because of the sky, goes well. And I believe that, like, uh, pastel lavender goes well as well. Um, grays, uh, white, color of clouds, like that kind of stuff. Things that are up in the air, things like that. Uh, so those 
go really well myself, in my opinion. Uh, some people might view snakes as being an element, like a correspondence of water, because in the area that they are, maybe snakes go in the water. Um, you never know what kind of things you're going to associate, right? Um, so, yeah, there's all sorts of things. Uh, when it comes to tarot decks, I almost always associate wands with air, not fire, and swords with fire, not air. Um, because a lot will say that swords are air and wands are fire. Um, but with most decks that I own, I associate wands with, with air and swords with fire. Um, and that's because I feel like swords would represent fire more. Not, um, and the explanation for me thinking that swords belong with fire is fire is like swords in a way. If you use it correctly, it will help you out immensely. If you use it incorrectly, you will get hurt or you will hurt others. If you know how to do sword play, you will, it will help you. Uh, if you don't do it correctly, you can hurt yourself. It's a lot of fine line balance there. It's a lot of that. I find the page of swords is very much the fine line between recklessness and usefulness, if that makes any sense. And also swords are forged in fire, but they cut through air and, and can represent knowledge. And air for me is knowledge and fire is inspiration and wands can be inspiration. So once I apply the idea of knowledge and inspiration, um, that's when I can see the flip side. And it also depends on every deck as well when it comes to tarot. Um, and when it comes to whether my wand or athame is air or fire, uh, this is my athame. It's actually a Japanese sword, like a very tiny one. And this to me is definitely fire. I don't feel this is air in any way. So this is definitely very fire. And this wand is very air. It just, it feels very air to me. So, yeah. It really, the thing with correspondences I find is learning what common correspondences are. Like, when people are like, ginger is for blank, or rosemary is for protection, things like that. If a lot of people are saying the same thing about something, there might be some truth to it. But if you're thinking to yourself, I really don't feel rosemary is protective, then don't use rosemary for protection if you don't feel that it's going to protect you. <laughs> like, that's the thing with correspondences is it corresponds. And it's not necessarily going to correspond for every person. So I think learning what other people think is very valuable and important when you're learning about correspondences, especially when you're starting out. But a good, um, a good activity to do is before you're going to do something, write out some correspondences for it. Are you going to work with the element of earth? Uh, all right, so let's write down some animals, some colors, uh, magical creatures, uh, different things like that, uh, herbs, things like that, that you think, that you feel connect with earth for you. Just your initial thoughts before seeking it out. And then look into some more and go, oh, I never thought of that. Or really, just be like, really, I thought basil would totally be earth. Or I don't know what basil technically is. I feel like basil is very earthy to me. But anyway, uh, like that sort of thing, kind of. Go with your intuition and then seek out some knowledge. Um, if you're brand new and feel like you don't have intuition, trust me, you do. Just try it out. Um, animals that correspond to fire, how about some phoenixes? Get some magical creatures in there. Magical creatures are sometimes easier. Phoenixes, dragons, both fire. Dragons could be air too. But like, just think of that kind of stuff. Um, and go through like that, because you might be having similar thoughts to a lot of other people have had. And that's not necessarily make that's not necessarily meaning you're not making up your own correspondences when other people are thinking the same thing. 
it just means there's synchronicity and things might be lining up a little bit better. So that's definitely my view on things uh, when it comes to correspondences and things like that. Um, you should check out Hazel Autumnwood's video on uh, when she was planning out like the Samhain, the, her uh, reply to or video response to Ember Honey Raven's uh, challenge set forth uh, on the Witchy Bears channel. Um, check that out. It talks about, she talks about, you know, some course, you know, figuring out correspondences and thinking, like writing them down, thinking first. It's a good, good idea. Uh, so definitely that's what I'm feeling when it comes to that sort of thing. Um, and by the way, I'm in my witchy room now. I decided to make my living room a combo living room and witchy room. You're on my couch right now. And by couch, I mean loveseat. I hardly use this room for anything, even watching movies. I don't have TV. Like, I have a TV, but I don't have, like, like connection. So I just have my Blu-ray player so I can watch movies, but I hardly ever watch movies. So I figured I'd convert my coffee table into my altar. Um, I'm going to do a video. I'm going to make a video right now of my Samhain altar and show you because I have to dismantle part of it today because I'm setting up the Samhain altar at the uh, Samhain celebration I'm going to tonight. So I need to take some of my items with me. But I thought while it's set up now, I would show you guys. But I'll make that a completely different video because I'm at 16 minutes now. And I don't really want to edit this video, to be quite honest. But uh, yeah, so thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, have a nice day. Leave me in the comments below your thoughts on correspondences and grimoires, books of shadows, anything like that. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bum, 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 bum.